The future potential Labour leader Wes Streeting went on the BBC to be interviewed by Laura Koonsberg. But during the programme, he snapped a little bit. Oh, poor Wes Streeting. He struggled during a very simple live interview with uh, Laura Koonsberg of the BBC. Look at his face, the baby face. Beautiful. Oh, he's a potential Labour leader. And he could easily become the next Labour leader. Having said that, this interview, which is a preview, I'm going to show you the clip in a second, um, was about the, the trade union negotiations and the percentage of what the deal should be for the public sector, for certain areas, like should be 10% pay rise, 13%, 19%. Some of them are actually asking for 35%. Good luck with that. Now, that aside, historically, politicians, parties in government, opposition parties, they always claim to be in favor of transparency. So they go on in public and they say, this is our position. For example, we want to negotiate, ideally with trade unions, based on 10%. And then they go, Inside the meeting room, they negotiate behind closed doors because, because that's they already clear about their position. Now, where Streeting's line during this interview was, I, I'm not going to tell you what the percentage is, what the position of the Labour Party is, because we're going to keep it for the negotiations. No, it's because you don't have any idea. You don't have any position. Now, let's go to the interview, because during the interview, he struggled and he snapped a little bit. He didn't have a full on meltdown. But he basically said, why do, why do people expect me and the Labour Party to come up with ideas how to govern? Because you are the opposition, you idiot. Let's go. You said that the nurse's original ask of 19% was unaffordable. Would 10% be affordable? Well, I think what we need is a workforce plan. And the government have promised a workforce plan because, as I've said before, we've got to see these strikes in the context of retention mm -hmm. of NHS staff. And I think the even bigger risk isn't just that people walk out for more days of industrial action, is they walk out of the NHS altogether. And whether, when you compare pay rates in the NHS oh. to other sectors, including retail... Answer the question. That's not the question. When you compare social care pay rates, mm -hmm. There's a degree of uncompetitiveness now, so people are walking out, so as well as going to other countries. So, so, so would you offer 10%? As with 10%? Pat Cullen, I'm not going to sit here on your programme and pluck numbers out of the air and negotiate on air. But that's no, 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 you're not supposed to be doing it there. You're supposed to be having the meeting with your Labour leaders and everybody else. You should already have the number, you idiot. Plucking numbers out of the air. I mean, our viewers want to get an idea of how Labour would <clears> handle it differently. You say very strongly the government's made a mess of it. So how would you fix it? Would 10% be affordable in your view? Well, I wouldn't expect the health secretary to uh, make commitments on air now. What yes, you do. I would expect him to do is sit around the table and negotiate. And that's what a Labour government But you've said to do. us previously that 19% was unaffordable. You said that 35% for the junior doctors was unaffordable. So you are happy sometimes to talk about numbers. Oh, I feel really weird to, to praise uh, Laura Kunzberg, but in, in this interview, she's absolutely on fire. She's spot on, she's on good form, and she's making a very, very good um, uh, uh, point, point because, yeah, so it's happy to talk about numbers sometimes, but not now. Um, so I'll ask you again, is 10% affordable? Well, we'll, set out, we'll set out our manifesto policies, which will be fully costed and fully funded. This is the situation right here, the right now. General election. I know, Lauren, that's why the health secretary there we go. should be yeah, here, but he this. isn't. And frankly, oh. I'm fed up of coming on programmes and being asked how I, a Labour spokesperson, would fix Conservative problems tomorrow as if I'm in government tomorrow. What? I'm not in government tomorrow. The Conservatives are. You, They're not here. They government. don't answer questions. <laughs> they don't have a plan. Mm -hmm. and, and what we are doing what? is setting out... I think the substantial answers the NHS needs to make sure we're not here again and again. Take our workforce plan, the biggest expansion oh. of NHS staff in history. More yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did he actually say on live TV in the UK? Well, well you expect me as if I'm going to be in government tomorrow? Y yeah, that's literally what you've been telling the public, that you'll be in government tomorrow and you are the opposition. You, and you say, but people expect me and the Labour Party to have policy ideas to fix the problems of government. That's literally your job. <laughs> you only have one job as a political party, as his uh, majesty's most loyal opposition party. You, 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 this is the only thing you have to do. Apart from photo ops and pointing at potholes um, and rejecting developments in your areas. <laughs> this is the only thing you have to do. It makes no sense. 
why they allow them to get away with these interviews. He thought, well, this is the BBC. I'm going to feel comfortable with the BBC. This is an easy interview. It's Laura Koonsberg. Laura Koonsberg completely roasted you. You got completely destroyed. It was a very simple interview. All you had to do, have a meeting beforehand with your dear leader, Keir Starmer, over some beer and curry that you guys like to do all the time, and have an idea. Mention it in public, then go talk to your masters, trade union masters. Don't pretend that you're going to be negotiating with the trade unions. They own you. So whatever they say, you're going to say yes anyway. So maybe have a call, have a chat with the unions. Say, guys, what number should I say on TV? And just say that. I know I don't want that to happen because that's completely dodgy behavior. But the Labour Party was established by trade unions. They own you, get used to it. They have your money. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.